At their new headquarters on Nowhere, the Guardians of the Galaxy are attacked by Adam, a sovereign warrior created by their High Priestess Aisha, who seeks to destroy the Guardians for stealing from her during the events of the last Guardians of the Galaxy movie. After Adam critically wounds Rocket, he is stabbed by Nebula and flees. The Guardians cannot heal Rocket's wounds with their med packs due to a kill switch embedded in him by Orgocorp, a company helmed by a mad scientist and Rocket's creator, the High Evolutionary. The Guardians travel to Orgocorp's headquarters to find the switch's override code and save Rocket's life. As Rocket lies unconscious, he recalls his past. As a baby raccoon, he was experimented on by the High Evolutionary, who sought to enhance and anthropomorphize animal life forms to create an ideal society called Counter-Earth. Rocket befriended his fellow Batch 89 test subjects, an otter named Lila, a walrus named Tiefs, and a rabbit named Floor. The High Evolutionary was impressed by Rocket's rapidly growing intelligence, but became furious once it exceeded his own. The High Evolutionary used Rocket to perfect his life form creations, then planned to harvest Rocket's brain for further research and exterminate the obsolete Batch 89. Rocket freed his friends, but the High Evolutionary killed Lila. Enraged, Rocket mauled the High Evolutionary, but his henchmen killed Tiefs and Floor during a firefight with Rocket before the latter fled Counter-Earth in a spaceship. In the present, the Ravagers, led by an alternate version of Gamora, help the Guardians infiltrate Orgocorp. They retrieve Rocket's file but discover that the code was removed, with the likely culprit being Teal, one of the High Evolutionary's advisors. The Guardians, along with Gamora, depart for Counter-Earth to find him. They are followed by Aisha and Adam. After the High Evolutionary, their race's creator, threaten to wipe out the Sovereign if they fail to retrieve Rocket. The Guardians reach Counter-Earth and are guided to the Arete Laboratories complex. Drax and Mantis remain with Gamora and Rocket as Peter Quill, Groot, and Nebula travel to Arete. Nebula is forced to wait outside by guards as Quill and Groot enter Arete, while Drax tricks Mantis into pursuing Quill's group. Gamora saves Rocket from being captured by Adam and the High Evolutionary's guard, Warpig. Questioned by Quill, the High Evolutionary admits disillusionment with the imperfect society he has created. He destroys Counter-Earth, killing the anthropomorphized animal life forms and Aisha. Arete departs as a spaceship, with Nebula, Drax, and Mantis boarding to rescue Quill and Groot, who instead escape Arete with Teal retrieving the code from his corpse before being rescued by Gamora in their ship. As Quill's group uses the code, Rocket flatlines and has a near-death experience, where he reunites with Lila, Tiefs, and Floor. Lila tells him that his time has not yet come, as Quill uses the code to disable the kill switch and restart Rocket's heart. Drax, Nebula, and Mantis encounter hundreds of genetically modified humanoid children on Arete before being captured. The other Guardians stage a rescue mission, leading to a battle against the High Evolutionary's forces. Craiglin uses Nowhere to fire at Arete, dooming it. He later saves Nowhere's citizens from an attack. Intent on retreat, the High Evolutionary's crew mutiny, but he kills them. Drax, Nebula, and Mantis face and befriend three monstrous abelisks to escape and reunite with Quill's group. The Guardians delay leaving Arete, choosing to rescue the children, who escape to nowhere via Cosmo's telekinetic tunnel connecting nowhere to Arete. Rocket discovers imprisoned animals on the ship before being attacked by the High Evolutionary, but the other Guardians help subdue him, and Rocket spares him. The Guardians rescue the animals to nowhere. Quill nearly dies trying to cross over, but is saved by Adam, who had a change of heart after being saved by Groot from Arete. In the aftermath, Quill decides to leave the Guardians, naming Rocket as Captain. Quill travels to Earth to reunite with his grandfather. Mantis embarks on a journey of self-discovery with the Abelisks by her side. Gamora reunites with the Ravagers, and Nebula and Drax remain on Nowhere to raise the rescued children. In a mid-credits scene, the new Guardians take on a new mission.